Hey guys, welcome back or to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be making a complete custom background for my leopard gecko Fletcher. If you guys are new to my channel or just don't know anything about my leopard gecko, he's a super inquisitive and adventurous lizard, so I really wanna provide him with as much enrichment as possible. Right now, he's in a 30 by 20 by 20 tank, which is roughly around 40 gallons, and he also has a background right now that I made probably about a year ago, but it's starting to fall apart. I didn't use the best materials for it. So in general, I just kind of want to remake it, and now that I know what he really likes with his background, I can include those things to make it more personalized to him so he can really truly enjoy it for himself. I'm going to bring you guys along for the process of this, and I'm going to do my best to explain how I made this, uh, but if you have any further questions that I didn't answer or you need an explanation of, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'll try to respond as fast as I can. So I actually asked my friend Hunter, who has made multiple custom backgrounds, um, how he made his. So I got these materials based on what he told me. There's multiple other different methods you can use to make backgrounds. So this is not like the only one you can use. You're going to need some type of like an insulation. I got a four by eight sheet from Home Depot and mine is an inch thick. My friend got an inch and a half, but they do have up to two inches. It just kind of depends how much you want to carve it out. But I would say an inch is pretty good unless you really want to carve out like a whole sitting area or something in the rock itself then I would say maybe more like two inches. You're also going to need dry lock. Um, I got the color just white. Uh, this is going to basically be what you're going to paint on the insulation to make it like that grout uh, type consistency as well as just completely cover it and make it waterproof and safe. You're going to want to pick up some cement dye. This is what I used to dye mine. Um, I used a charcoal gray, but they had a whole variety of colors at the location um, I went to. So you should be able to find multiple colors. If not, you can probably order it online. And you're just gonna add a little bit into the dry lock mix. So I'd recommend just pouring a little bit of dry lock into a cup or a bowl or something you don't really care about. And then just add a little bit of this um, until you get the desired color you want. I also added some ledges onto my background. So basically what I did is I took like, for example, my background and then I siliconed um, the ledges I wanted onto it and I let that dry for about 30 minutes to a couple hours, I think. I let that fully seal and then I started adding my dry lock mixture. Now I recommend at least doing four to eight layers. I personally I think did four or five, but it kind of depends your animal. Leopard geckos do have claws, but they can't really scrape the stuff off super easily. So I only did four or five layers, but if you're using this for like a blue tongue skink or maybe a bearded dragon, maybe do a little bit more like six to eight layers. Now it takes probably 15 to 30 minutes for it to seal. What I realized is if I did it with like in a room with a fan on or I did it outside, it dried much quicker than just in like a area like this, just a very stale area because there's just no airflow, it didn't dry nearly as fast. Once your silicone's completely dry, you add on your dry lock mix and you do four to eight layers of that. You should be good to go once it completely dries. Again, if you are adding ledges, completely make sure the silicone dried. It actually took a little longer for the silicone to dry than to do all four or five layers of the dry lock. So just make sure that your silicone is fully dry. Now, if you do add anything else that I didn't say today, um, make sure it's reptile safe and see how long it has to seal. There is some things that take up to a week to seal or a couple hours. So make sure that you look into that before you're putting that in your reptile or amphibian's enclosure. Just make sure it's completely reptile safe when sealed and see how long those things will take to seal before you're able to put it in your pet's enclosure. I hope I was able to explain this the best of my abilities. I also recommend wearing gloves. I used some latex gloves when I was painting because the dry lock uh, mix kind of gets stuck on your hands. I got it stuck on my sweater the other day and it will not come out So uh, just be aware wear messy clothes you don't care about it. wear gloves and I also used paintbrushes to paint mine I had a smaller paintbrush and then a large paintbrush for the whole background and That is pretty much what I did uh, for the, when you put it back in the background mine just perfectly fit And since I have loose substrate in the enclosures I kind of just nuzzled it by the background and it completely stays in place But if you do have to glue it, I recommend using silicone I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna put some really cute clips in of my leopard gecko exploring his new background for the first time. I also did this for my other leopard gecko, Luna, but his was the first one I did, so I just documented that process. But I do have clips of her that I might put in as well of her exploring her enclosure. I also carved out a little bit of Fletcher's, which took way too long, so I didn't do it on Luna's, but it looks really cool if you have the dedication to do it. So with everything being said, enjoy these clips.
this video was helpful. If you guys do decide to follow through and make one of these with the materials I used, please send me photos on Instagram, which is Emmy's Pets. Or if you have just any other things to mention about using this method that I forgot to say, comment it below so other people know tips or know what they should use. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next week. I love you so much. Stay awesome. Bye guys.